Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and we're coming back to you from the RE Plus Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon I'm joined again by Tom Brennan from Solark, and we're looking at the Solark Smart Load Load Management System. So Tom, thanks for joining us again. Oh, happy to be here. All right. Now this is an area that I know a lot of our viewers have been have been paying attention to is this idea of load control, load management, and just, just visibility on what loads are drawing power within the home. Can you please explain for us how does having an intelligent load management extend the capability on your solar and storage system? Well, uh, a, 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 a hybrid inverter along with batteries is does a lot of things for you. It does a lot of backup power. However, it has it's, it can be pricey. You know, it costs about $2 a watt, you know, not including installation. But when you add load management, what, what you can do is, and, and there's various load management solutions out there, is that you can turn, sort of manage the loads, not turn all the big stuff on simultaneously and sort of like turn them on sequentially. And the result is, is that you can double the effective power of the ESS at one-tenth the price per watt. And so it's, it's, it's doubling the effective power of the ESS without the cost. It's the, it's the single biggest reduction in cost of, of, of anything on an ESS system. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for you, those of you out there that maybe have been shopping for solar plus storage, if you've gotten quotes, you know, you might find that doing a, a true whole house battery backup with your solar, it could double, double the price of your solar installation, where, where half the cost is just in the battery storage. So by having some intelligent load management to, to help you, frankly, just to help you make better choices on how you spend your, your, your battery storage or the energy that's stored in your battery can help it, as you say, make a more effective installation. Right, things like what we can do is we can, let, let's take an electric home, which is the worst case scenario. We can, we can actually move uh, the hot water heater to, to power it during the afternoon when the batteries are already full in an off-grid scenario or on-grid. And, and there it's using the solar power to, to power the, the hot, hot water heater instead of the batteries uh, or the, you know, instead of the batteries. Um, in addition, what we can do is we can shift uh, pool pumps. We can shift, we can make sure that both air conditioners aren't running simultaneously. Um, there's lots of different things we can do with load management. And that's why you're seeing more load management solutions out there like from us, uh, our partner Savant has a really easy install load management solution that we can see. Um, there's Lumen is a smaller kind of uh, you know six channel kind of solution um, that we're trying to work with, um, and then there's others out there. So so we we recommend that you look at a low cost load management solution with any ESS. It's just going to make it perform better. Absolutely. Now the, now, the first thing I notice when I look kind of in, at the internals here on, on the smart load is that, first of all, you, you have up to 14 different relays here. Each of them are, are listed here at 100 amps each. So, you know, for you homeowners out there, you, you can imagine virtually every, every 240 volt load in your panel, you know, even for an all-electric home, that, that's enough space for pretty much every 240 volt load in your home to be intelligently controlled during a blackout. So, uh, again, it gives you more visibility and allows you to express your priorities as far as where you want your backup power to be used. You know, as, as Tom mentioned, you know, if you have an electric water heater, there's no need powering that during evening hours if you have to pull that off the battery. That's a very, very high resistive load to pull off the battery. Um, likewise, if you have a home electric vehicle charger, there's really no need to, to, to try to power that off of your home battery, basically discharging your home battery just so you can charge a little bit into your vehicle battery if you're in a, a backup power scenario. Rather, rather do that during the daytime than after sunset, just keep power on to those things that you know, critically need power, which in some states might, might mean central air conditioning, but if you're in more temperate climate, you may, may not even want to bother with central air conditioning during the evening hours. That's right. And, and what this does is we're, we're not concerned about all, all the loads around in the household. We're just concerned about the big 14, you know, the big six or 12 or 14 loads in your house. And therefore, you can actually see how much energy you're spending, how much battery you're spending on those loads. And it gives you a lot more visibility, a lot more control. It's much more valuable than, than knowing that your solar panels are producing. You know, they're gonna produce every day anyway. So, so it, it's, it's a lot more information for the homeowner to, to be able to take advantage of and prioritize base decisions based upon state of charge of the battery or, or, or moving 
where it can go in the, in, in the time of use. Absolutely. Well, folks, this has been a brief presentation of the Solark Smart Load uh, up to 14 uh, intelligent software controlled loads. Uh, again, this is one of those key things that helps for a successful solar plus storage implementation is not just having storage capacity, but having the ability to intelligently choose when some of those loads are allowed to draw from the battery so it helps preserve your battery life. Uh, folks, as always, if, if you need to get a, a quote for a solar plus storage system for your home, uh, if you'd like to look at the Solark, the Solark system uh, or other comparable solar and battery system, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a short Zoom call uh, with one of our experts and see what options would be available for you here. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the information that we're publishing on the channel, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if, if you haven't done so already. Uh, right now our goal is to, to make sure that we're at events like this to make sure that you as potential solar owners uh, have the most up-to-date product information. Well, Tom, thanks again for taking time to chat with us this, this afternoon. Oh, yeah. Glad, ha, I'm, I, I love it, sharing information and education and, and so that people can make more affordable decisions. Yep. And that's what we're all about here at Solar Surge. Well, folks, that should do it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.